Once upon a time, in a bustling marketplace nestled between rolling hills, there was a humble fruit seller named Ali. His stall, adorned with vibrant colors of fresh fruits, stood out among the other merchants. Ali was known not only for the quality of his fruits but also for his warm smile and honest demeanor. Every morning, Ali would wake up before the crack of dawn to visit the local farms and handpick the ripest fruits. His keen eye and years of experience allowed him to select only the best for his customers. With his cart loaded, he would head to the marketplace, where he would arrange his fruits meticulously, creating a beautiful display that attracted customers from far and wide. Ali took pride in his work and always ensured fairness in his dealings. His customers knew they could trust him for both the quality and the price of his fruits. He would often offer a little extra to regular customers or to children who stopped by with their parents. Despite facing challenges like unpredictable weather and fluctuating prices, Ali remained steadfast. His dedication to his craft and his genuine care for his customers earned him not just a livelihood but also the respect and admiration of the community. One day, a traveler passing through the village noticed Ali's stall and decided to buy some fruits. Impressed by the freshness and flavor, the traveler struck up a conversation with Ali. Through their talk, the traveler learned about Ali's journey how he had started with just a small cart and a handful of fruits, and through hard work and perseverance, built a thriving business. The traveler was moved by Ali's story and decided to write about him in a local magazine. Soon, Ali's reputation spread beyond the village, attracting even more customers who came to experience his exceptional fruits and the warmth of his personality. Years passed, and Ali continued to run his stall with the same passion and dedication. His children grew up helping him, learning the art of fruit selection and customer service from their father. Ali became a symbol of integrity and hard work in the marketplace, a testament to the power of determination and kindness. And so, the story of Ali, the fruit seller, became a beloved tale in the village, a reminder that success, when rooted in honesty and compassion, not only brings prosperity but also touches the lives of everyone it encounters. The Once upon a time, in a peaceful valley nestled between rolling hills, there lived a majestic horse named Thunder. Thunder was known far and wide for his sleek black coat and powerful gallop. He belonged to a kind-hearted farmer named Jacob, who treated Thunder like a member of the family. Jacob and Thunder spent many days working together in the fields, plowing the earth and sowing seeds. Thunder was not just a working horse. He was Jacob's companion on long rides through the countryside where they would explore winding trails and lush forests. One autumn morning, a terrible storm swept through the valley. The wind howled and the rain poured down in torrents. Thunder, sensing danger, neighed loudly, urging Jacob to take shelter. They hurried back to the safety of the barn, where they waited out the storm together. Days turned into weeks, and Jacob fell ill. He could no longer tend to his farm or care for thunder. Concerned neighbors offered to help, but Jacob worried about thunder. He knew thunder loved to run freely and feared the horse would be unhappy cooped up in the barn. One evening, as Jacob lay resting in bed, he heard a gentle nudge at the door. Thunder had somehow slipped out of the barn and made his way to Jacob's bedside. With tears in his eyes, Jacob reached out and stroked Thunder's mane. He knew then that Thunder understood. In the days that followed, Jacob recovered slowly. With Thunder by his side, he regained his strength and eventually returned to work on the farm.
Thunder, ever faithful, stood by him every step of the way. As time passed, Jacob and Thunder became local legends. Their bond was unbreakable, a testament to the enduring friendship between humans and animals. Visitors would come from far and wide to see Thunder, the horse who had saved his owner from the storm and never left his side. And so, in that quiet valley where Thunder and Jacob lived, their story was told and retold, reminding everyone of the power of love, loyalty, and the unspoken connection between a man and his horse. The End Once upon a time, in a quaint town nestled by a serene river, there lived a young girl named Emily who adored books more than anything else in the world. From the moment she could read, she found herself transported to magical realms, far-off lands, and thrilling adventures within the pages of her favorite stories. Emily's love for reading began with her grandmother, who would read to her every night before bedtime. Together, they explored enchanted forests with talking animals, sailed across stormy seas with daring pirates, and solved mysteries alongside clever detectives. As Emily grew older, she began to explore the town's library on her own. The library was a treasure trove filled with books of every genre imaginable, fantasy, mystery, adventure, and more. Emily spent hours among the shelves, losing herself in the tales spun by authors from around the world. One day, while browsing the library's shelves, Emily stumbled upon a dusty old book tucked away in a forgotten corner. Its cover was worn and its pages yellowed with age, but something about it drew her in. It was a book of fairy tales and folklore passed down through generations, each story whispered to be imbued with a hint of magic. From that day on, Emily spent every spare moment reading the old book. She discovered tales of enchanted castles guarded by dragons, of brave knights rescuing princesses, and of humble peasants finding their destinies through courage and kindness. One story, in particular, captured Emily's imagination. It was about a young girl who discovered a secret doorway hidden in her attic, leading to a fantastical realm where animals spoke and trees whispered ancient secrets. Through her adventures in this realm, the girl learned valuable lessons about friendship, bravery, and the importance of believing in oneself. Inspired by the stories she read, Emily began writing her own tales. She crafted stories of daring heroines, magical creatures, and far-off lands where anything was possible. Her stories became popular among her friends and family, who eagerly awaited each new adventure she penned. As Emily grew older, her love for books and storytelling never waned. She eventually became a librarian, dedicated to sharing the magic of books with others. She would often be found reading to children, just as her grandmother had read to her, and inspiring them to embark on their own literary journeys. And so, Emily's story became a testament to the power of books to ignite imaginations, foster dreams, and create lasting bonds between readers and the magical worlds they discover within the pages of a book. The end. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between misty mountains, there lived a boy named Oliver. Oliver was known as the rainy boy because wherever he went, rain seemed to follow. It wasn't just a coincidence. Whenever Oliver felt strong emotions, whether happiness, sadness, or anger, the sky would respond with rain. At first, the villagers were puzzled and sometimes inconvenienced by Oliver's unusual ability. His tears could bring gentle showers, his laughter could summon sparkling drizzles, and his anger would unleash thunderstorms that shook the very ground. Yet, despite the challenges, Oliver remained kind-hearted and always tried to control his emotions. 
One day, a drought struck the village. Crops withered, rivers dried up, and the villagers faced hardship. They turned to Oliver, hoping his ability could bring relief. Understanding the gravity of the situation, Oliver decided to harness his gift for the greater good. He climbed to the highest hill overlooking the village, closed his eyes, and focused on feelings of hope and gratitude. As he did, a gentle rain began to fall. It started as a whisper but soon grew into a steady shower, nourishing the parched earth and lifting the spirits of the villagers. From that day on, Oliver learned to embrace his unique talent, using it not only to express his emotions but also to bring joy and renewal to those around him. The villagers came to appreciate the rainy boy, understanding that his gift was a blessing in disguise, a reminder of the power of empathy and the beauty of nature's response to human emotions. And so, Oliver and his village thrived, forever grateful for the rainy boy who brought rain and hope wherever he went. The end. In a quiet mountain town, young Ryan dreams of reaching the summit of Mount Serenity, a majestic peak that towers over his home. Inspired by his adventurous grandfather's tales of mountain conquests, Ryan spends his weekends hiking nearby trails and learning the basics of climbing from old guidebooks. One summer, determined to make his dream a reality, Ryan convinces his older cousin, Emma, an experienced climber, to mentor him. Together, they embark on the challenging ascent of Mount Serenity, navigating narrow ridges and scaling sheer rock faces. During the climb, Ryan faces moments of doubt and fear, but Emma's encouragement and expertise guide him through each obstacle. As they near the summit, a sudden storm rolls in, testing their resolve. With determination and trust in each other, they persevere through wind and sleet until they finally reach the peak. Standing at the summit, Ryan is overcome with a sense of accomplishment and gratitude. The panoramic view of the valley below and the distant horizon fills him with awe. Once upon a time in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a girl named Lily. From dawn till dusk, Lily's laughter could be heard echoing through the village streets as she played with her friends and helped her neighbors. Lily was known for her infectious joy and her ability to find happiness in the smallest of things. Whether it was chasing butterflies in the meadow, singing songs with the birds, or simply sharing a smile with someone in need, Lily's happiness was a beacon of light for everyone around her. One day, a traveling storyteller visited the village and heard tales of Lily's happiness. Intrigued, he sought her out and asked her secret. Lily giggled and said, It's simple. I find happiness in everything around me, nature, friends, and even in making others smile. The storyteller was inspired by Lily's wisdom and shared her story wherever he went. Lily's village became known as the happiest place in the kingdom, and people from far and wide visited to learn from Lily's joyful spirit. As the years passed, Lily continued to spread happiness and her story became a legend, a reminder that true happiness comes from within and is meant to be shared with others. The end. Thanks for watching. Subscribe more videos.